Hey guys, this is uh, PLS Tips with Manny, uh, as your host, Manny Lopez. Every week I give you guys some new strategies and marketing techniques on uh, promoting your business, promoting the Power Lead System, promoting your own brands. Uh, this week I want to give you guys some tips on positioning a brand, branding yourself. Okay, I uh, talk to a lot of people every week, you know, every month or whatnot, and I hear the stories of what people talk about and how they got to where they are, where they're following their passion. And every single one of them that I talk to, um, the difference between the successful ones and the ones that are just still trying to find that nugget, find that success, find that way to, to position themselves, a lot of it has gone down to branding. It's really positioning themselves as an expert in their industry, branding themselves to where when people see them online, they recognize them. They know if they see uh, their logo, they see their website URL, they see... Uh, a graphic that they put together, um, something that solidifies themselves, it gives them name recognition. And when you have name recognition, you've got brand recognition. When you got brand recognition, you've got value. Okay. And when you got value, you get more clients, plain and simple. So today I'm going to give you guys some pointers on how to brand yourself, how to position yourself. And uh, the first things first is you want to figure out a good name for your brand. All right. Uh, you can either be yourself if you're a coach, if you're a life mentor or something like that. You brand yourself as your name. Uh, if you have a very common name, we probably wouldn't want to do it that way because if everybody's got your name, that's not going to help. Um, like me, Manny Lopez, uh, it's, I would say a common name. You know, It's not something I would say is, is very unique. Uh, there's a lot of Lopez's out there. There's a lot of Manny's out there. So I re can't really brand myself um, as my name. So what I did is I came up with my own brand. And, uh, and that's how I brand, you know, so I go out there and I promote my brand. I put my face all over the place and uh, I'm pretty sure you probably found this video because you see all my face or you saw PLS tips, some type of brand recognition. And that's how you saw this. So that's where uh, I kind of have, have my positioning. And that's what I would recommend for anyone else is you go out there, you find something that's catchy, something easy to remember, easy to identify. And like if somebody was to see it, they'd know what it is. You know, they know what you stand for. Um, you want to have something that is unique as well. You don't want to be something that's generic, that uh, that everybody's already done before. Um, you want to make sure that you've got something that is different, something that you can say is yours, right? Um, the way I present, the way I, I talk to people, the way I share my knowledge, you know, that's what makes me unique. That's what makes me different. I don't go out and do the same thing that other people do. I do a very unique way. It's not just the same old, you know, putting stuff together that, that people normally do. Um, I just put a little bit extra branding on it. Today is a little bit different on my videos. Uh, the last two weeks, as you can tell, they haven't had the whole uh, the white thing to the right side and, and all that kind of stuff with it. But w the reason being is that we've got this different sales office and I haven't uh, integrated all of my Camtasia and everything over to this new um, computer that I'm running at the office. So uh, that's why I just haven't been able to put the extra branding into it. Plus, uh, I'm actually running the sales office now. So, um, you know, it's very time consuming for me to manage my team, do their training, and then uh, put these, get these videos and literally just take off my entire day. Uh, to get these done because the editing on these, the adding in, the, the call outs, all that kind of stuff, that's a lot of work. And then I have to go and review it, make sure all the call outs are accurate and where they jump at. Um, you should see the, the stuff that goes behind the scenes of putting this stuff together, guys. But uh, it's all for you. It's all to make sure that you guys can see value and what we can put out there for you. I know I'm a young guy. I'm not someone that's easily recognizable as you know a guru of sorts or somebody that you would look to for knowledge. But if you watch my videos and you've seen what I've been able to share with you guys, you know I know what I'm talking about. So I want to give you guys tools that will really help you in a way that is unique and uh, will position you guys when somebody looks at you, they say, wow, that guy's doing it differently. You know, that guy's not doing it uh, the same way. He's not spamming me constantly. I was watching a video recently and um, the guy was talking about network, the network marketing industry and why it's looked on so negatively um, and why people say it's just like a scam and, and nobody makes any money and and uh, and all the nonsense that goes with it, right? So uh, it really caught my eye what he was sharing uh, or caught my ear or where, however you want to say it. But he was talking about how the way people present it, you know, it's just like they've lost that social interaction. There's no building of the relationships anymore. There's nothing that you're giving to say, hey, you know, 
check this out. Here's something of value. Um, you know, here it is just here. You know, they're not doing that anymore. You're, you're getting a lot of just like, hey, uh, let me invite you to coffee. But then when you go to coffee, you're not sitting there chit-chatting about, you know, life and what you're talking about. You want to present them with a sit down of an opportunity that you want to share with them. So, you know, that's a lot of it in the brand is the value. And when you want to build value, it's you got to provide value first. You can't expect that everyone's just going to see your value and just throw money at you for no reason. Um, you have to understand, you know, no matter what business you're in, whether it be network marketing, if you started your own brand or whatever it is, you understand there's people before you. There's competitors that you have. You know, there's people that have put in the work to give themselves a different look than you. And there's people, there's people that are willing to work just as hard as you or harder to try and make themselves the better person or the leader in the industry. You have to understand that. And when you can understand that, you, you can really position yourself as a leader because when you can see that the way you provide value is to give back to your community, to give back to your audience, to share with them tools and resources that otherwise would have to find or take a long time to do on their own. You want to be something of value to them, okay? You first market your niche market, okay? So let's say, for example, you're starting a brand and uh, you're a Power Lead System member, okay? Typically, the Power Lead System members I come across is basically this category, okay? You've got some type of opportunity that you're doing, whether it be some MLM business, direct sales, maybe you own your own business, you're a small business owner, uh, or maybe you know you're just starting out. But the typical prospect that I, I talk to on a daily basis would be someone who has an opportunity already, and has got the power lead system to help promote that opportunity and be another revenue generator for them, maybe residual based business model. So when you're building a brand, you got to understand that you are special because you have something that somebody else does not have, and that's your knowledge, your knowledge of the industry, your knowledge of your product, your services, and what you can give as expertise. So in order for you to have more value in yourself, what do you think you're going to need? I'll give you a hint. Knowledge. More knowledge, okay? So educate yourself. The more education you have, the more knowledge you have, the more value you have, the more people will follow you because they want to see value. If you can share industry tips, you know, industry knowledge, just share articles on Forbes of why network marketing is great, uh, share success stories. Don't go out there and say, you know, hey, money this, money that. Stop talking about the money, guys. Money is not what is selling people. Nobody cares about the money. That's why they always think it's a scam. Is Everyone's talking about, oh, I can make $5,000 in three months, or I can make 30 days, $10,000 with no recruiting. Come on, you guys are just wasting your time doing that, all right? Provide something of value. Share a story. People want to see something that is going to resonate with them. Money does not resonate with people that are going to build your team, okay? Everybody can talk about money. Yes, there's going to be one person in your organization that made seven figures. Yes, but is that duplicatable? And is that person teaching it how to be duplicatable? No, okay? They're not. They're typically going to be sharing secrets of how that, uh, you know, once they've gotten to their, you know, thousands and thousands of networks, what they're using, you know, or how they're selling it or what they're putting in their emails or something. They're not giving you the tools of how did you build it from day one? Okay, how do you get a guy who has never done network marketing before, who can go out there and talk to people, how do you get someone like that to build a group, how to build a network, right? And you just got to give them a simple system, a process, a step-by-step -step blueprint of how to do it, right? So you got to make something that is going to be duplicatable and of value. And when you do that, you can give it and you can make it where somebody else can do it too. That's simple. So building a brand. Okay. Once you've figured out your name, once you've figured out your your you know your look, I guess you want to make sure that you're marketing your prospects. That I guess would say would be a target audience, right? So if you're building a brand and coaching, if you're in the network marketing realm, you know if you're going to build a brand, it's going to be a building it around you know teaching others. That's really what you should be doing in your business is teaching others. Okay, teach others something. There's something you can teach somebody. So teach. When you can show that you do instructions, you teach others how to do it, you're going to get people that come to you that say, hey, you know, Manny or whatever your name is, 
I need help on how to do this, or I'm just starting out, or I need to do this, or I'm looking for help on this realm, what should I do, or how should I go about it, or I need to do something, I see that you do this, and you know, how do I do that? So if you can go out there and just provide, you know, knowledge and you provide how-to videos and you provide instructions you provide uh, processes you provide systems like power lead systems you can give knowledge and you can give something that uh, others are not giving and that is resources people love resources they're gonna follow people that are giving out stuff for free that's simple and if all you're doing is giving out your time you're gonna give out your time one way or another might as well record it and share it you know it's that simple. So, uh, for me, when I'm building brands, I want to make sure that uh, they're catchy, that they're name recognizable, um, they're easy to follow, they're easy to spell. Uh, you know, you use proper grammar. Obviously, it's difficult. You know, when you have a name that you could spell the correct way and it does not find your company, that does not work for you. Okay, so find something simple. Um, stay away from using dashes in your your URLs unless you're not planning to put those on business cards. Um, the one way to brand yourself. Um, and colors, that's another thing you want to focus on. Um, if you want to focus on getting people to take action, you know, right away, use bright colors like yellow, red. Uh, if you want to get more people to trust you, um, you know, using soft colors like blue uh, would be a great way to build trust in your organization uh, or your brand. Uh, if you want to get people to more pay attention to detail on a lot of stuff, you can focus on using some yellows. Um, if you want to get people to, you know, let's say you're doing a health and wellness type of industry, uh, anything with nature, natural products, natural uh, organics, anything like that, definitely be using the greens. Um, so keep in mind of that when you're making your brand. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you are recognizable as a Fortune 500 company. Okay, that's how you, your brand should look to everybody. Even if you're not a Fortune 500 company, because obviously there's only 500 of them, but look like it. Look is very, very important because when somebody finds your company online, you're comparing. They're comparing you to 17,000 other people that look just like you, that sell the same exact products as you. Why are you any different than the others? Well, if you're going to teach others how to be successful, even if you're not that successful yourself, at least you're educating yourself and then sharing the knowledge that you learn. It's that simple, you know. If you're starting out yourself, you know, go out there and reach, go to YouTube, go to Google. You know, imagine that was funny. Is uh, one of my agents, he um, was asking me a question like, "Oh, you know, what's the closest, you know, Bank of America or something like that, or Chase around here?" And then uh, my other agent said, "You know, wasn't wouldn't that be cool? If there's just this amazing tool that you could just, you know, pull up on your phone or something and just ask it a question and it would give you answers." Yes, we have that tool, guys. It's called Google. It's called YouTube. You can watch videos on anything, any topic that you'd want to learn on. That's how a lot of people find me is YouTube. You know, I make videos, put them on YouTube. People find them, you know, and they call me. Um, you've got Google. You know, any question you have, type it in Google. They have thousands of results of people that have responded to that. Um, so you have just so many resources, guys. There's just no excuse not to have a great brand. You know, first look at... Um, some of the brands of your competitors. You look at some of the people that have already been successful in your industry and see what you can take from that as far as ideas and concepts and see how you can make it yours. Obviously, you don't want to go and mimic somebody's brand. You don't want to copy their brand and emulate them as much as you possibly can. But you want to go out there and see, okay, well, that's successful. I see that positioning myself with these types of colors would be good. Or, you know, maybe I see that, hey, putting your front face on, right on the front of your website. It looks like that guy's having success doing that. Maybe I should try something like that. Um, you know, offering a lot of stuff right on the whole. You know, there's just so many different angles, right? So just look at that end, all right? Uh, so that aspect of branding, again, you just make yourself different, make yourself unique, and make sure that, there's a reason people should follow you. You have a story. Everybody's got a story and you got to share it. Your brand is your story. Okay, Your brand is not going to be your product. Your brand is not going to be your services. Your brand is going to be the story of why you do what you do. What is making your life passionate? You know, what, what drives your passion? Share that in a story. Put that in a video. Put that right on the homepage of your website. This is why I do what I do. This is why I've chosen this life path for myself.
right? For me, it's my family. For me, it's it's teaching others. It's it's being able to share my knowledge and let people see the value in that. I really love that. You know, I don't know. I guess you could call it selfishness, but you know, I love to be able to hear the stories of me sharing my knowledge and saying, "Do this, do this, do this," and then the next day getting a call from someone and say, "Hey, I did what you said, and I got crazy results." I love that. It's just amazing to me that that happens all the time. And and I get to be the bearer of that knowledge. And what's cool is that a lot of time it's for people that I've I've never even talked to before before that. You know, they they look at what I do, they hit the strategies, they see it works, and then they call and they reach out and they say, you know, it actually worked. This actually does work. I love how I can follow your training and it's so easy to follow. And you know, you're not here for just giving out fluff and huff. You're actually giving real value. You know, I just want to help out as many people as I can because I understand the process of karma. You help as many people as you can get what they want and you will get what you want. It's just inevitable. So the way I put my business model is, well, let's see. Um, I can give out that knowledge for free, which I do. Um, and I can make a business where that I can get paid for doing that knowledge as well. So, yes, I do that as well. So there's ways for you to monetize whatever you're doing. Find something you're passionate about and find a way to get paid for it, right? Everybody, you can get paid for anything. You know, if you love video games, you can get paid to be a video game player, right? You, If you love painting, you love art, you can get paid creating your art. No matter what you are doing, you can find a way to create that as your living. If you're passionate enough, you have drive enough, and you are willing to put in the work. It's not easy. It's never easy. If it was easy, everybody would be millionaires. Everybody would be living the dream. But we have what? One in six Americans are in poverty. One in four children go hungry. They're on food stamps. You got to be kidding me that we have this much potential and opportunity in the world and we have this many people sitting on the sidelines. It's ridiculous, okay, guys? All you need is somebody there to mentor you, to show you this is how you can do it. It can be done. You need somebody to push you. Let me be that guy, right? Every week, come back. Every Wednesday, 6 o'clock. Let me motivate you. Let me inspire you. Let me show you that, yes, there's a way for you to do the things that you want to do in your life. There's a way for you to be who you want to be. You don't have to be living the life you're living right now. You don't have to be broke. You don't have to be looking at your bank account and wondering, can I add guacamole to my Chipotle? That's 65 cents. It's just a little too much. You know, I, I saw a meme the other day. There's a reason why I said this. Is um, I want to make, I just want to make enough money that I don't worry about adding guacamole to my Chipotle. <laughs> you know, you got to have that mentality. Like, it's just a decision. You decide. You decide to say, no what, no more. I'm not going to be broke. I'm going to make it. I'm going to do my what makes me happy. There, there's a thing I shared uh, recently. I, I was reading a book. I don't have it with me. Uh, it's with Les Brown, and he was sharing a statistic. You know, the the heart attack rate on Mondays jumps thirty five percent between the hours of six a.m. and ten a.m. And majority of those heart attacks occur while the person is sitting on the toilet, contemplating about the life he hates, getting ready to go to a job he hates, to come back to home not following his passion and that's what people are just so depressed they live in this life that they think well I have this much bills that I have to make each month and uh, if I follow my passion I can only do X amount of dollars because that's just what I think I can do nobody really understands their real potential until they actually see somebody that has done it then they see wow that's actually possible they have someone there that says yes you can do it let me show you how step by step that's all we're here for. That's all I'm here for, at least. Let me be that guy, right? I, I can't obviously be there and, and mentor you guys one by one, every single one of you, but you guys can come to this video. You guys can reach out as much as, as I possibly can, can connect with you guys. But reach out to me, you know, ask me questions. Let me know your story. Let me know what it is that you need help with, what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that you want to do with your life. And let me show you how to do it, how to find a way to make money doing it. There's always a way, right? I'm doing what I love and I get to go home and at any time I want, I can take a day off and, and spend that time with my family. You know, just until recently, I, I stay. I was a stay-at-home dad or I was a, what do you call a, a stay-at-home papa, whatever you, I don't know how you call it. 
uh, whatever. There was a funny name for it, but um, in my I, my wife wanted to go to beauty school, so I put it through Marinello. I, I decided to stay home, take care of the kids. I I you know built my business from home. Um, you know, it, I did that for two years, and it's a long road. It's hard. It's very difficult. It's not easy working from home. You know, you have so much distraction, especially when I have two boys, five and eight. They just love running around, having fun, having a blast, always having kids in the background on my sales calls. But that's life. You know, you, you learn to go with the flow and roll with it. But if you're passionate about what you do and you have drive and you just say, you know what, no matter what is put in front of me, I will overcome that. I will succeed. I will get to where I need to go. Look where I'm at. Look at this. Look where I'm at today. I could have given up, right? I could have said no. I could have said, you know what, whatever. I could just do what I do from home as little as I can and just see what happens. But no, look. Now I'm sitting on top of the world, right? LA over there to my left. Snow-covered mountains to my right. Sitting on top of this... Beautiful Class A building, learning and teaching others, and being able to offer ways of value to, to people in my industry. So it doesn't take much, guys. It all takes a decision. It takes a decision. That's it. It's someone that says, you know what? I will do it. I will succeed. And I just need to find the way to get there. And I'm willing to help you guys out as much as I can. So every week, every Wednesday, Get back on this training. Get back on this uh, PLS tips with Manny. And, and just get your team on this as well. I mean, I just want to inspire others. I want to show you guys step-by-step step how to be successful. Whatever way I can do that, let me know. You know, today we're talking about branding. Last week we talked about, you know, cracking the personality code, how to understand people within your own personality and how to, how to get people to see that. You know, there's just so much, you know, ways that I can help you. All you got to do is let me, all right? So... I'll see you guys next week. We're about a little 22 minutes in now. Um, you know, it's probably, uh, I'll get this up as quick as I can. I'm literally recording this. What is this? It is almost about 3 o'clock uh, my time. This is going to be live in about three hours. So I'm going to get this uploaded to YouTube, uh, get it online, and we will see you guys again next week. Uh, as always, remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Uh, any questions you have, reach out, guys. You have my information. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you next week.